verses 38 to 50 of the second chapter of bhagavad gita have been quoted i'll read the verses out and then we'll come to the question starting from verse 38 treating happiness and sorrow gain and loss and conquest and defeat with equanimity engage in battle thus you will not incur sin this buddhi regarding the self sankhya has been imparted to you now listen to yoga by following which you will get rid of the bondage of karma here there is no waste of an attempt nor is there any harm even a little of this righteousness saves one from great fear o skayan of the kuru dynasty in this there is a single one pointed conviction the thoughts of the irresolute ones have many branches indeed and are innumerable o son of pratha those undiscerning people who utter this flowery talk which promises birth as a result of rights and duties and is full of various special rights meant for the attainment of enjoyment and affluence they remain engrossed in the utterances of the vedas and declare that nothing else exists their minds are full of desires and they have heaven as the goal one pointed conviction does not become established in the minds of those who delight in enjoyment and affluence and whose intellects are carried away by that speech origin the vedas have the three qualities as their object you become free from worldliness free from the pairs of duality ever poised in the quality of sattva without the desire for acquisition and protection and self collected a brahman with realization has that much utility in all the vedas as a man has in a well when there is a flood all around your action is for your right is for action alone never for the results do not become the agent of the results of action may you not have any inclination for inaction by being established in yoga o dhananjay undertake actions casting off attachment and remaining equipoised in success and failure equanimity is called yoga o dhananjay indeed action is quite inferior to the yoga of wisdom take resort to wisdom those who thirst for rewards are pitiable possessed of wisdom one rejects here both virtue and vice therefore devote yourself to karma yoga yoga is skillfulness in action the question is even though i try to act without any self interest i still do expect results although superficially i believe that none is my doing but i still feel responsible for things which don't go as intended where am i going wrong or the state as explained by shri krishna is just an ideal that can't be achieved but one must still strive for you are not going wrong anywhere it's just that your expectation is uh, premature and misplaced that which you are asking for is so very sublime and bounteous and beautiful and fulfilling 
that it cannot come cheap. It will extract a high price from you. Remember, any price that you pay will not really be big enough to buy out liberation for you. Hmm? Liberation is priceless. So even the highest price that you offer for liberation will be insignificant. But still you have to pay the highest price that you can. From your side you have to pay the highest price that is possible for you to pay. And the highest price is your entire self. The totality of what you are, the entirety of your entire personality. That's what you have to pay. Pay in the sense of disown, give up. Not that this is a just payment for obtaining liberation. Liberation, we repeat, is priceless. But still you have to make the complete payment from your side. And that entitles you to come to a point where you are equanimous, not influenced by the result, equipoised in success and failure, in victory and defeat. Mm -hmm. All that requires payment or investment, if you would, and time and a lot of conscious effort. Lot of conscious effort. You'll have to fight against yourself. You'll have to check yourself again and again. Encounter innumerable disappointments. It seems easy to correct oneself. It really is not. Inside, we are all quite crooked. It takes a lot of determination and effort to straighten and simplify our insides. Hmm? So do not expect results too early. And be grateful for any partial results that you are obtaining. When it comes to effort, always say, oh, my efforts have been too little. When it comes to whatever spiritual fruits you have obtained, always say, oh, I have been blessed with much more than what I deserved. Remain grateful. Your effortfulness coupled with your gratefulness will keep opening doors for you. Lack in either of them, effortfulness or gratefulness, and you will find that you are left only with bitterness and complaints. Hmm? So, keep going, keep fighting, keep improving. It's a long journey. Pranam Acharya just now you said uh, you need to keep fighting, it's a long journey. So when we reach a point where we can see we cannot fight anymore, so at that point, what should we do? Pause for a while, relax, and then fight even more. It's a battlefield. Sometimes obviously you will feel tired. Sometimes you will feel very strongly that you cannot carry on anymore. Hmm? Don't retreat at that point. Just pause. Give yourself a bit of time. Be determined. Hmm? 